Hey folks, JD here. And today we're going to be building my enchantment room. So it's going to be a lot like this. I'm going to build a fireplace. I'm going to add in some chains and some iron and then some banners. But my enchantment room is a little bit hidden because it's under there. And I do like hiding my rooms. I've got a load of tunnels and a load of hidden compartments around the place that I've just kept off, off, uh, off limits to everybody else. Like this for argument's sake. So I've got a pair of paintings both the same the creeper nice nice creeper painting and you walk through it and you get to my little secret large chest hideaway no mods needed just two blocks removed and then add two signs don't you you can write on them or not i haven't bothered and then when you put the painting up it just stops them from blocking your way through and then you can just walk through so that's a nice little sort of painting uh nice little sort i'm not going to call it a hack because it's been done time and time again. But I really like it because nobody would ever think to walk through a painting. <laughs> anyway, this is my enchantment room. So I'm, I've already sort of uh, built this big chimney. I'm going to knock out that light as well. So if any mobs do spawn, they're going to land directly on the fire and burn. So what I'm going to use today is I'm going to use three of my soul campfires. I am going to use some iron bars. I'm going to use two chains. And I think I'm going to make a mantelpiece out of bone. I really quite like the bone in this and I don't use it enough. I'm going to take some magma blocks as well in case I need those. Um, and obviously I'm going to need the enchantment table. And I'm going to have some bookshelves. But I've only made one for the second because making bookshelves in this is an absolute nightmare. So I'm going to first of all destroy that light. I should have some dirt here. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if it's going to be enough four blocks, but hey ho, let's give it a shot. Maybe enough for me to just get that light if I jump. There you go, I can just get that. Let's remove that. So it's nice and dark up at the top of the chimney. And then all I've done is I've created this chimney three blocks wide. I'm then going to be adding my soul campfires, three um, campfires wide. I've put them on stone. Just so that there's nothing flammable, nothing will catch fire. And then hopefully, yeah, look at that. The smoke is rising up really nice and coming out the top. As I've done that, let's add in some bone just around for the mantelpiece. I love the sound that this bone makes. There you go. So you've got yourself a very sort of basic mantelpiece there. Then we're going to add ourselves, in case any mobs do spawn, I'm then going to add... A nice bit of iron so that nobody can get over it now i don't know whether you can put chains in bone you can indeed there we go so you've got two chains there so we've got a very nice mantelpiece just sitting there <laughs> just burning away very nice these walls are a bit bare so i think i'm going to add in some banners where did i put my banners they might be next up next to my loom so let's go for a very brief walk up to my loom and then you can see the changes I've also made around uh, the main entrance to my bunker as well. So if we just get out of here. And then, look, I've put a door in. So you no longer have to get back out of the trap door. I've put a door in, which means that I can just come into here. I've removed the campfire. There's a part of one of my maps. And as we come down, I've got all my equipment here that I would use. Yeah, look, there's my white banners. I knew I had them here somewhere. Can I? I can't create any more. Let me just see if I got any. I would quite like to create maybe another two. And I can't remember for the life of me what materials you need other than wool. I think it might be sticks. Uh, but I'm just going to double check. I'm going to go with sticks if I can't find them. Come on. It's not looking good. No, I'm going to just go with sticks then. It might be, oh, i got sticks on me. Or maybe it's not. There's paper, there's sticks. Oh, well, let's just stick with two for now. So let's pop it in my loom. Let's put the white banner there. I'm going to go for a yellow dye. Um, or am I? Let's go for these azure. Let's make those. Uh, that'll give us a light grey dye. So let's make some light grey dye. Um, I thought I had some quite, I know I've got yellow back in my enchantment room. Um, no, I don't. 
which is a big shame. I don't really want to be going back down there to come back up here. But the yellow really stands out. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a spell loom that I've crafted and let's go back down to my enchantment room. And then we can make, using the yellow dye, I can make the banners that I want. So through the doors, using the switches, the doors automatically lock behind you. Close that. And then down we go. Can you hear my mind cut going back and back and forth on its own? <laughs> Fireplace still burning. I'm going to actually put my loom in my secret area here, I think. Um, there we go. So let's try this again. So let's do a white banner. Oh, I still haven't got my yellow dye. Sorry, folks. I'm a bit all over the place today. So let's... Maybe I couldn't make any banners because my wool was still in there. God, I am all over the place today. Right, let's try this again. Loom. Four banners. There's my yellow dye. Let's choose a pattern. So before I went with just the straight diamonds, these here, and they worked quite well. I think today, I think I might go with a gradient. So I might go with that. So I'm going to do four of those and then take my yellow dye back. Lovely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the wall. One there. One there. They're opposite each other. Yep, they are. Lovely. I'm going to put a little bit of colour here as well for when you come down. With the enchantments, I'm going to grab the enchantment table. I'm going to grab some spruce planks to put the enchantment table on. I wonder if I can put it on a magma block or will it burst into flames? Magma block does burn. Actually, I'm going to put it onto a redstone lamp. I'm going to take some redstone dust as well. So let's see if this works out how, I, how I've got it planned. Redstone. Enchantment table's a bit too high there. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So let's put the enchantment table just straight on the floor. There we go. Lovely. Let's put... Let's make it a little bit more enchanting. Let's get rid of these two and darken it slightly. Look at that. It's against... Oh, it's blowing in the wind. I never knew it did that. Amazing. Is that one doing it as well? Yes. Brilliant. There's my enchantment table. It's all nice and dark. Let's use some redstone lamps. First time using these. So let's see how they go. Let's... Let's get rid of these as well. How big are these lamps? I'm guessing they're one block, right? So I can just put them there. Can I then do some redstone dust to a redstone block? So let's get two blocks. Let's see if I can... Let's mine that and mine that. Let's put a redstone block there. Let's put a different block let's go with hmm, let's just go with cobblestone for the second i think we all know cobble cobblestone is good enough for this and then let's no not gonna allow me to do it not gonna allow me to do it no it is gonna allow me to draw on the floor so let's then let's Let's put the redstone block on the floor. But I still I can't draw up, can I? Which is a shame. Can I draw up? No, I can't draw up, but I can draw on the floor. Okay, fine. Well, that's kind of scarp at that. I had an idea. Idea didn't work. No problem. Let's go back to the drawing board. So let's go back. Redstone lamp. I still want to use a few of them. Let's put one on the floor here, look. So let's get rid of that. Let's use a redstone lamp on the floor. There. Let's put a redstone block in the floor here. And then let's add in some redstone dust next to it. So let's exchange that with that. Let's put that there. And then let's put this lead into it. There you go. There we are. Very nice. It does bother me a little bit, but still, okay. <laughs> That's how it's going to look for now. I would, I think I'd want to sink it into a wall, but I do like seeing the power supply and the line out to the light. I quite like that. I think that's quite neat. And it's bright. It's ridiculously bright. So that's that's quite good. But I like this being quite dark. I think me enchantment rooms 
are quite dark anyway is how, how I sort of envisage it. So let's put the bone back. I'm not going to need that for now. Let's add in a solitary bookcase. No any of the fire. I'm eventually going to be making huge bookshelves. One lot there and one lot here. But I think for now, let's leave that like that. Great. Okay, perfect. So that's what we've got so far. I want to put in some more of these redstone lights. But I think that looks really effective. And again, if mobs do spawn, because that is... I think I, I carved out 20 blocks. So if a, if a mob does spawn, they're just going to land on there and just burn. So, okay, they can't get out because of the uh, one block height and because of the, the iron, which is great. I want to use some more of those redstone, redstone uh, candles, though, redstone lamps. So it's a shame I can't put it on a wall. I really thought I really would want to put that redstone up over the wall. It's a real shame. I think they're really missing something there. How about if I offset it? So how about if I put in a redstone block inside there and then if I put a little lamp sort of here, just under there, and then if I was to draw that... I mean, that looks kind of okay. Can I then put a block over the top of it? No, I can't because the redstone is a block. Okay, fine. So let's do that here because I'm really not happy with how that looks. I'm sure you can probably tell that from how I just stood there and looked at it and went, uh, yeah, looks a bit, looks a bit naff. Okay, let's pop some more, and just pop some andesite in there for the minute. There we go. There we go. I'm a bit more happy with that. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I like how these flow in the wind. That's nice. There we go. Decent. And you get a decent amount of light from there. And it still doesn't illuminate this place too much either. It's still quite dark, which is good. I quite like that. I think that's quite neat. Need more bookshelves. But we've got ourselves a bit of light. We've got ourselves our bone altar. Our bone um, fireplace, rather. With our three soul campfires. Our little enchantment table there as well. We've got our book, little bookcase, even though we've got to build that up over time. So yeah, that looks quite nice. That looks quite nice. I like the redstone lamps. Again, adds a nice amount of light over here, but doesn't illuminate this side too much either, which I quite like. Can I get rid of that? Yeah, that's quite nice. I prefer that. There we go. So there's our little enchantment table. And there's our little enchantment room. That's quite sweet, that is. Come down here, enchant different weapons, enchant, make different books. I've got an enchantment book here, actually. What's that one? Efficiency. There we go. That's not bad. I'll give that a go at some point. I don't know whether I've got it put. I've never used an enchantment table. Enchantment book. Is it then what I want enchanted next to it? No. That's clearly, that's clearly, yeah, it's a symbol of something I haven't got. There we go. Just thought I'd give it a shot. Wicked. Right. So that's our little enchantment room. All done and dusted with our nice little secret area. With our loom. Oh, I've got to put more steps up there, haven't I? I think I built some nether steps. I did. Look at that nether brick stairs. Lovely. Let's use those. Beautiful. There we go. Great stuff into there in fact I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to use a redstone light let's see if I can set it in the wall so if I put it next to each other it will work won't it if I put a redstone or a candle in there let's go down and make a redstone block but I think if it's next to each other the redstone will power it so that's a way around not being able to power it up a wall I can just put it next to each other and it will power it. So let's put this here. Let's take this. There we go. That's powered. That looks a lot nicer, that does. Yeah. And I'm going to lose these because they don't add. They're not adding a lot. Oh, actually, they are. They were adding quite a bit. Maybe I'll... Um... Oh, sorry. If you can hear that weird snoring noise as well, that is my dog. My dog is deciding to add some atmospherics to the game by snoring. There we go. I'll add that in there. So I've got light both sides. There we are. Great. That's good. 
come back in here then then we can we can do what I originally wanted to do which was light up these walls so let's smash that let's get rid of this there we go let's put lamp in there let's put oh, out of redstone blocks let's make another one there we go let's make that there for a second because i've got my pockets are a bit full right lovely that's there let's add a redstone block in here to free my pockets up a little bit didn't need the magma blocks i'm just going to pop it in there away out of, out of the way and now i think yeah, i'm going to put a deep slate block back in there and i'm going to put two and or one underside back in there there we go and i'll pop the rest back in my chest no problem there we go so now have i got any water i do how about we make ourselves a little water feature like a little a little bubbling water feature somewhere i quite like that with the redstone i'm going to leave that there that works and it's still nice and dark beautiful so how about we make ourselves a nice little bubbling bath in the secret area here i'm guessing i've cobblestone that up because i'm guessing that's another part of my mine like this behind here so let's put in let's make out of deep slate bricks i've got some soul soil haven't i soul sand soul soil i can never remember which which one it is but one of them will give you nice bubbles in the jacuzzi and the other one will just look horrific and won't do anything so where have i got a bit of room for this if i get rid of this let's get rid of the chest there we go let's get rid of that and let's build a jacuzzi so let's do it let's make this a bit wider do 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 do, do. let's take it back another set of bricks which goes directly over where i was okay fine bless you dog that's my other dog that's now decided to add something to the conversation by sneezing well done dog thank you very much for adding something to this right okay let's mine our way through here it's getting a bit dark now let's make this a little bit higher i'm going to add in some nice lighting with a redstone block where's that that's there let's go back a little bit further there we go so then i think over here i'm going to add in a redstone lamp with and i put it back in my <laughs> i put it back in my uh, large chest didn't i so let's come back in here let's grab a block of redstone and then let's put the block of redstone back next to this light up here i mean of course you can use a redstone torch but i prefer the block i like the two blocks next to each other it looks quite nice and because we're building a bath i'm going to then go back out at least a minimum of one extra block i might go two but for now it's just going to be an extra one i'm going to go two so that then we have four blocks across which is nice it's two blocks of water and then one block either side then of there we go and i'll cut that out and i'll put a lamp on top of that to make it look quite nice now what have we got in order to make our nice jacuzzi i would quite like to use these black slate bricks if i've got enough deep slate bricks i can never remember the name of these let's see if i've got enough yeah i should have enough look at that there we go so i've got a step there and a step there so let's put nether bricks there let's put nether bricks there that steps you into a little jacuzzi so what i'm going to do now this is going to get me this is going to be right yeah there we go so that's going to get me there let's use i'm going to take some soul soil and i'm going to take some soul soul sand because i can never remember i know it's one of them that makes bubbles and the other one doesn't but i can never remember and it'd be quite good to see whether or not um 
the water leaks through. So I'm going to put this here around there and let's see what happens. Am I going to flood downstairs? There we go. So it is the sole sand, I think, that gives you that. Let me just double check before I say that. Yes, sole sand, not the sole soil. It's the sand that makes you, gives you nice bubbles like in a jacuzzi. So there we go. I can stand in there. That's really great. And of course, the soul sand will. Um, hang on. Yeah, soul sand. Still getting confused. Will <laughs> will slow you down as you walk, but you can just jump straight back out. So there we go. We got a nice little jacuzzi there as well. Beautiful. And let's see if we've got any drippage. <laughs> that looks quite dark. <laughs> just have those faces staring at you. I like that. I like that a lot. And you can hear bubbles flow, water flows. You've got the campfire crackling. You've got the lights just illuminating just enough to give it an air of suspense, an air of intrigue. So let's put that back with that. And let's put that back with that. Perfect. I think I might put a shroom light up there just to give it a nice little difference, a nice little change. There we go. Nice little shroom light there as well. I wonder whether, I think, if I put another bucket in, it's going to overflow, isn't it? No, there you go. That's good. Just levels up, levels it up a little bit more. I'm probably going to be taking the mick if I do another one. No, nope, there you go. Beautiful. So three buckets of water in that. And all the water is nice and level. All of it is bubbling up. That's beautiful. I really like that. That's really cool. So I've got some wool left, I think. Still no bubblage, still no drippage. So I've got some more wool. I've got five wool left. So let's loom. Let's make let's make some banners first. And then let's put some banners around the upstairs there on the No. Why haven't I got enough? Oh, is it six wool, is it maybe? I've got do you know what I'll do? I'll do some yellow wool. Rather than having banners and make it all the same. I'll put some more, I'll put some yellow wool up there and just give it a nice little, where am I going to do it? Luck, hopefully, well, shall I go up? Yeah, let's go up one more. So you give it three blocks up, not two. And then I can use the middle block here and put yellow around it. And that's better rather than having just two blocks. And you've got a bit of headroom as well. There we go. nice <laughs> okay great and the next thing to make after this is a bubble lift so what i've got i've got three so i could do is there any chance i could get four? Oh, i might be able to get four yeah look at that i can get four great so i can do two of this end one two. Ooh, what was that behind there oh just some gravel i thought it may have been a uh I may have come through onto a uh, what you call it a um a mine so let's put that in there and then i'll do ooh bad move john because i've got those two there okay no problem let's do one two that's just where gravel has fallen down isn't it so let's get rid of that as well let's keep it all gray and then have yellow right in front that's what we're going to do so grey, 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 and then yellow here. Yellow, 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 which uses up the four bits of yellow there for no particular reason. There we are, it looks a bit different. You've got your jacuzzi in there. Lovely. You've got your shroom light. You've got your redstone lamp. You've got everything kind of going on for you. Really good. Let's put the chest back. I could have put it in there, couldn't I? It's a bit high, I suppose, for a chest, isn't it? So let's... Let's drill that out and then put a chest in there as well. There we are. I really like that. That looks super. I really like that. That looks super. Right, cracking. Bit different with the yellow across it rather than just having banners. Because we've got banners are, are quite a theme around here. I didn't want to have the same, same thing going on. 
Um, have I got anything really? I suppose I could put some... I don't like... What well, I don't like, I don't like these two bits of cobblestone in with the stone. And I don't have any more stone on me, unfortunately. I've used it all. So what I'm thinking... Can I change all this? How many have I got? 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 15, 20. No, I haven't got enough. Okay, fine. Well, it'll stay like it is then. Unless, actually, I just do this. Let's just do this, look. So if I do this and make a wall of cobblestone rather than just having that little strip. And I think that might look a little bit better, per se. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't look as bad as just having two of them. Great. So we got our little jacuzzi with our soul soil. Soul soil. Soul sand, rather. And we've got our secret loom in our secret area. And then we've got our redstone lamp. And then we've got our enchanting table with our banners that are nicely blowing in the breeze there. With our uh, our bone... <laughs> our bone um, hearth mantelpiece. And then we've got our three soul campfires in there. So I think that's everything. I think we're done. I'm really happy with that. I think that looks super. All right then, folks. Well, thanks ever so much for watching. Please join me again. There are going to be many more Minecraft videos. The next one, I think, is going to be either another Nether video or we're going to be making a bubble elevator. All right then, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy mining.